Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro. Dead all nighter, so I'm tired again, as I do every time I'm about to put up a Last of Us video. So ignore me if I sound tired or can't say a lot of my words right. Alright, so we're doing survivors. And this is um What's this map? This map is uh I forget what it's called, to be honest with you. I knew earlier. But yeah, it's um <laughs> it's that map. No, but uh so if you're new to The Last of Us Survivors is Thanks. if you're called Duty Player Search and Destroy, if you're I don't know. I mean there's lots of games that do it, but instead of saying a list, basically you have no respawns. So that's all. Um you get four rounds. Well you get eight rounds. Nah, seven rounds. Seven. <laughs> Alright, so you get seven rounds in total unless you somehow get a stalemate. It's probably possible. Blow each other up at the same time. Uh so seven total rounds with no stalemates. Until one will reach until one group or one team reaches a victory. So uh that guy missed, but he actually killed someone. And he beats this guy up. So you actually think he's gonna do it, look. But nope. Got socked right in his mouth. Uh <laughs> this commentary is brought to you by XX Shadowcod. XX or a Shadow Cod, however you want to refer to him. Because he told me that he liked it when I did the commentary, so you know, figure give a shout out to him, right? Um Oh. Really tired. What was it like? Six AM. <laughs> okay, so uh What are we doing here? Oh that's right. Okay, I go for the armor and the smoke bomb approach. You'll see what I'm okay. talking about. Let's go. Well, if I do it, get that. Um, so I don't want to talk about the game too much. I like showing the gameplay, then talking about a different topic. So, what should we talk about? I'm thinking I got a variety of topics. How about um? Okay, so what are your thoughts on uh? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think of what would be the best topic. Probably something along the lines of your career. What would you want to do? Um, I like asking people that question because I know what I want to do, but everyone has a different mindset. And I just would like to know simply due to the fact... Um, I want to know, especially, you know, what gamers, like you guys, would like to be. If you would actually like to do what I would do, or if, you know, you just want to go through this, you know, play it and have fun. I would either like to create video games, if I haven't already said in an earlier video. You know, actually develop. I could do some of the artwork, the, you know, computer-generated artwork. Uh, you can do the designs. By designs, I mean... Um, like, the level environments, I guess. Uh, you can do the actual programming, you can do the voice acting. I would like to do something involving that. Or I would like to be a YouTuber because, honestly, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's actually a lot harder than I thought, to be honest with you. When I came on here, I'm just doing it for fun. But I wanted to put out a video every day. Because, I mean, I know, I know I'm talking about bigger YouTubers, but whenever someone doesn't put out a video for a long time, then I don't get bored, but, you know, I just, I like seeing videos, obviously, so, um, I figured if anyone, any of you who do subscribe to me would like to see videos, uh, of course, so, um, you wouldn't want to wait too long. And it's not too hard to get out of video every day, as long as I do this variety. I could just do Let's Plays or something, and that would be easier. I could just play, but I don't want to be like everyone else, at least for right now. There's nothing wrong with that, trust me. But I'm just saying, I like doing this variety, so I can draw on different viewers. 
Um, so those are my career opinions. Um, if you have any ideas, like if you're if you want to go into the gaming field, uh, or if you just want to talk about your career, you can leave a comment. Cause I'm really curious to see is what other gamers want to go into if they actually want to go all the way with it or if they just want to play them you can even be a tester <laughs> that's a nice job right get paid lots of money to play video games find glitches and stuff you know stuff we do anyway okay um so i think that went pretty well for topic idea let me think of another one I mean, I have plenty, but let me. I'm trying to think of what is a really good one that I can ask to you guys. What about if they could make a four of any trilogy or a three of every or of any um? You know, I don't know a duology. <laughs> I doubt that's right, but you know, um, when there's two, there's just two. Well, you know, there's. You know, pairs and stuff like that, but I don't know if that actually has a specific name, but anyway, if they could make a 3 or a 4, or even a 2 for a game they made a 1, what would it be? Um, and they can be making it, like, for example, Uncharted 4 is one I'm pretty excited about. They said that, they didn't say they were going to be making an Uncharted 4, but they did say, well, actually, they might have said that, my bad, I don't know. I wasn't keeping up with it, but I know they did say that Drake's not done. That's the exact uh, quotes that they said. So clearly something happening. It could be like Golden Abyss. Um, I'm not saying it's on the PSP, but I'm saying it could be a you know not a knockoff, but not in the main storyline. A bonus one. That's always possible. Um, I know they're making Halo Five and stuff. I would probably like them to make another Gears of War, to be honest with you. I mean, Judgment, I don't think it went in the wrong direction. It doesn't completely feel like Gears of War, but I think it's still a great game. I think they could continue with that, maybe bring back some more of the game modes, and um, and they can keep in the survival that they have now and maybe add in the new horde then they could have you know like not a not another prequel per se but just in a different time period with different characters I think that could go pretty well uh, Dead Rising 3 is good they're coming out with that for the Xbox One and uh, keep breathing I got this so I think I mean, I'm excited for a lot of games. I'll play anything, really. You give me a game, I'll play it. It's as simple as that. It could be freaking Barbie goes to Disneyland. That'd be a pretty cool game, to be honest with you. But anyway, um... Okay, so let's see if we can knock out one more, at least. Um... Okay, so... Do you think it's bad to miss a day of school to do something gaming related. I have lots of my friends that say no. Um, you know, lots of the people that you see in my last play, we don't skip school or miss a lot. I'm saying one day or two days of the year. And I don't tell the teachers, but you know, from what I've heard, they really frown upon that, but I don't understand because it's like the same thing as if you were to miss a day due to the fact that you were, uh, I don't know, working on your car if you want to be a mechanic or something. Like, it's, if this is going for our career, then that's not really hurting anybody. Uh, I, you know, take a day off to, um, to create a game. I actually did that because I have Game Maker. I didn't release any games yet, but I've been working on, I think, what is a pretty good one. Uh, I don't have a name for it yet, but there's, like, ten different weapons. It's been a while since I worked on it because it's on my other computer. I have to transfer the file, but... There's like 10 different weapons. I have an assault rifle, a submachine gun, a light machine gun, rocket launcher, sniper rifle, fist, that counts as a weapon. Um, there's an alien weapon. What else? Pistol, shotgun. One more. Oh, minigun, minigun. 
There you go. So that should be all of them. Um, and they all do different damages. It's a platform shooting game. You know, it's not crisp yet, but I'm working on it by myself. So, I mean, I did that one day, and I don't see why it's so bad. Like, I have classmates and everything that think that it's bad to do that, but if it's going to be for my career, I don't see what's so bad about it. I mean, people take days all the time because they want to do something like do drugs or something, which that's, you know, you don't have to... That's worse. If anybody... If anybody thinks that taking a day off for gaming is worse than taking a day off for drugs, and trust me, I've seen it happen, is uh, worse than... Sorry, there's no hope. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not bashing you, okay? Whatever you want to do, I don't really approve of it, but only because I know it hurts you in the end. Trust me, I've seen it. Um, and I would like for you to stop, of course, but I can't make anybody do anything, so... I'm not gonna turn this into a PSA only because... You're... I don't... You know, you're not gonna listen, which is fine. Um... Basically, I'm saying, look, I don't want you to do it. But... Um... As long as you're... As long as you're not going out and hurting other people... If you want to hurt yourself, that's fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself, but if you have to, that's fine. I mean, you know, I don't control it. But uh, I kind of want to add that. I kind of wanted to add that in there. Just, it's been on my mind lately. I've seen some posts on Facebook and everything of my friends who I didn't think would do it, and they went down that road, and it's just, you know, if you can, just don't do it. It's not good. And I know you probably know that, but I'm saying there are people thinking that it doesn't hurt you. Trust me, it does affect you. It changes everything. Um, I know you've heard this, so again, I'm not going to turn it into a PSA, but the last thing I'll say is just, uh, um, whenever I see that kind of thing, <laughs> I just don't, you know, I don't even acknowledge it. Like, I try to pretend that that wasn't even on there, because I can't believe that they would encourage it that's what I act that's the thing I actually don't like the encouraging of it because I don't want other people to fall into it I mean we all made mistakes I've never done drugs but you know I'm saying simple mistakes that's a bigger mistake but whatever dude so you know that comes from my other question but I also want to ask you that do you think that um, how bad do you think drugs are? Because I know there are people that are on the fence. Like, I have some friends that they say, well, you know, obviously you shouldn't do them, but if you do them, it only hurts themselves, which is kind of a good point. But there's some people who are trying to stop it, which is, you know, a very good point as well. And then there's people who are for it, which are the people who do it. <laughs> so, um, that's another question. <laughs> so that's four questions. Um... Let's get one more. I said that at two, but this is going pretty fast. I mean, I know I had a long video, but I didn't really plan this out. So, uh, I thought about what to ask you, but... Okay, so, I think that's a, a array of good questions. Things that have been on my mind that only, you know, other people my age or uh, people that relate in the same genre, you know, of gaming and... You know, not... Not being too realistic and you know actually having fun with your life in gaming uh, people often say that what's the point in gaming it wastes your life well even if it does waste your life even if you want to consider it that um people who believe in the afterlife obviously i don't care like i mean i believe in the i believe in god and everything i'm saying i don't care if it wastes my life to me i, I don't care because I don't know what exactly happens afterwards. But to me, I'm not afraid. So uh, I could waste my entire life doing this so that I could entertain other people. And that would make me feel happy. That's all That's all I need, to be honest with you. Um, it wouldn't really matter to me if I died tomorrow for myself. It would matter to me for the people around me. Because I don't want to... Uh, I, I, trust me, death is horrible. So, I mean, 
I don't want other people to have to feel that, but for me, I wouldn't really mind, because I'm not, I'm not really afraid of it, I'm just, I don't want it to happen per se, but, so, uh, that's, that's the question I have to ask you, do you think that you will game for the rest of your life, or do you think it's a, you know, do you think it's wasting your time? Because I'll probably game for as long as I can. I mean, I don't know that I'll be 80 <laughs> in the gaming, but I'm saying as long as I feel that uh, I can still have good fun with it. I want to ask that question too. And I, I, I think about a lot of stuff. You know, I always want to see what other people's opinions are on the matter. So, um, anyway, guys, that's all I really have to say for today. So, thank you for sitting through this, my Q&A, to you, actually. And I will see you guys in the next episode.